Hi guys, Nigel Worrell here. We're at Seminole Soccer Complex, uh, Orlando City's training ground. Today I've got Corey Herzog with me. Um, Corey, training must be a little bit nicer for you today, having yeah. scored your first goal in USL Pro at the weekend. Yeah, so uh, how does it feel? Yeah, definitely it was a lot easier than most practices coming up, so it felt good just to come in and have that goal behind you and have a little more confidence. Right, you want to describe the goal? Do you remember it? Yeah, I mean, it was a blur, but I just remember the goal. It was a corner by Darwin, and the keeper came out, punched it. Kevin won a top of the box header and just tried to get it on goal, and it turned around. It was in the corner of the net, so it was right. good. Just a nice and re uh, much more confidence. So such a relief. Yeah, yeah that's the thing almost, about feeding on confidence. Obviously, yeah. it takes a comp it takes a knock when you, uh, you you don't score for a little mm -hmm. while. Obviously, you've been scoring in some of the other games, yeah, yeah. but to score in, in this one, play. I'm just expecting someone to come yeah, by and, and play with us. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I saw yeah. that ball roll by. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Tell us about that process mentally when you know you're not scoring goals in the league games yeah. that really matter. It was a long two, three months of just not scoring in the league and everything. I mean, um, I was trying to work hard and just do everything other that I could, right? And just the goals would hopefully come. And right. I mean, gladly it came on Saturday. So now just going into the games more relaxed and more confident, it'll be much better and hopefully more goals will come. Right. So, what sort of work have you been putting in on the training game? Because you do look a lot fitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've definitely. been doing a lot more work, particularly yeah. against Tampa. I mean, that, yeah. in that game, you, you really put a shift in on that. Yeah, game. just I really wanted that goal and everything. But I mean, all it comes down to is that loss column. We still have a zero there. And as long as we keep winning, it doesn't matter if I score goals or get assists or anything, as long as we keep winning. Right. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your journey to Orlando City. Obviously, you've had the MLS experience yeah. before with New York and Vancouver. Yeah, I played, um, played in New York two years. Um, it was a good experience just playing next to Terry Henry and all that. Went on loan right. down in Wilmington, yep. played a couple games there, scored a couple goals. Oh, you scored a few then, more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, a good, it was a good season for me then. Um, then last year I was in Vancouver, yep. had about eight, nine starts, uh, had one goal and all that, played in the reserve league and everything. And then just they didn't, we didn't come to terms and all that, just got released. Um, Seattle picked up, offered me a contract, but I just saw myself not being able to I mean, they have so many great forwards there already. Right. So I just wanted to come play. So it's about that. game time. Yeah. So yeah, three years didn't play that much. So, and then Orlando was a great opportunity. I mean, uh, just it's my type of weather. I love the warm weather and everything. So it was just a good opportunity for me to come down here and play some games, and hopefully next year go to the MLS with them. All right. We'll so see. where did your love of the game start? Um, when I was younger, I actually loved baseball more. I hated soccer. Oh really? Yeah. My mom paid me to play soccer and all that. So. Okay. But then, like, as I was getting older and I was scoring goals and I was having more fun and noticing I was pretty good at it, just started developing from there. Appreciate very much yeah, your time. Thank you. Hopefully you keep the goal scoring sure. track going. Definitely, definitely. And I'll see you again. Yeah, thank you.